All right, let's try asking her about the apartment again. Are you sure you can't give me Frank's address? It would really help my research if I could look around. Everything you need to know about Frank, you can find on the internet. I don't feel comfortable having a stranger look through his things. Uh, again? Are you sure you can't give- It would really- <sighs> Everything you- I don't feel- Darn it, okay. Have you ever heard of a place called the Mineta? Sorry. Okay. So... Thanks for the chat. Sure. I guess I can look him up on the internet again? But that only gave me his obituary. I already read his obituary. I don't need to read it again. Hey, Nishanti, are you home yet? Nishanti isn't home. Too bad. All right. Let's look up Frank again. Search for Frank Lyons. Yeah, this is just the obituary. I don't care about his obituary. I read it already. Uh, we'll look up the Gothic Bridge. No. Let's Google myself. Don't know no. what else I expected to find. <laughs> Let's try the Minetta again. Minetta. Yeah, I, I already have the location. It's not all that helpful. Okay, I have no idea what I'm missing right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and look up a hint so we don't waste more time. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to go and question the ghost about the Mineta Tavern again. Come on, Which, let's get uh, going. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> I don't really want to. He goes all creepy when I do that. Uh, fine. All right. Gothic Bridge. Okay, Joey. Is that right? Way. Go talk no, to him. Wait, I know this. Hello, Frank. Come here, Frank. Oh, hey. Okay. Uh, tell me more about this tavern. Funny thing, I went to the Mineta. They never heard of you. Why would they? You said you went there all the time. I've never heard of the place. You told me you were famous there. Famous? Yeah, famous what at the Mineta. What is going on? The Mineta? I go there all the time. It's like my second home. But you just said... Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould Fund? Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's what? The Joe Gould Fund. I have no idea. But you just... Oh, never mind. This is very strange. Okay, the Joe Gould Fund. Frank's ghost referred to something called the Joe Gould Fund. Who is Joe Gould? That's a good question. Let's ask. Could you tell me what the Joe Gould Fund is? Why, you want to donate a couple of dollars? I would, if you could tell me what it was for. For the upkeep and maintenance of Joe Gould's everywhere, of course. What? Any Joe Gould in particular? <laughs> Who's Joe Gould? You know what? Never mind. I'm getting a headache talking to you. <laughs> this is strange. Okay, well, bye-bye. Well, see you around. Sure. Bye. Bye-bye. As much as I'd like to. Oh, yeah, what about okay. me? What about me? Rosa, okay. let's leave. Let's go question the barkeep, maybe. Hi there, got time for some more questions? Sure, ask away. Okay, do you know anything about the Joe Gould Fund? Have you ever heard of Joe Gould, or anything called the Joe Gould Fund? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Sometimes I think they should just rename this place the Joe Gould Bar and be done with it. Really? Why? People hear about him and they come in here to ask about him. That's his portrait up there behind you. I knew he it! He died a long time ago. Who was he? He was some homeless guy who wandered the West Village in the 50s and 60s. He told some crazy stories and people found him entertaining, so they gave him money for his food and his beer. He referred to the money as the Joe Gould Fund. He also tried to write a book or something. He never finished it? Nope. Hey, sounds like your soulmate. Joey. 
Oh, and it's raining. Okay. Uh, can you tell me anything else? Anything else you can tell me about Joe Gould? I don't know much else, sorry. If you want to know more, check in another time. Lots of artist types come in here. They all know about Joe Gould. Okay, so come back later is what I'm hearing. Can I look at this portrait yet, Rosa? Thank you. Ah, about time. Okay, Joe Gould. It's a portrait of Joe Gould. Okay. Is there anything else we can gain from this? It's a portrait. Yeah, I know that. It's a portrait of... <laughs> Thank you. Does Joey have any different insight? Let's see. Do you, Joey? Apparently this guy is Joe Gould. Looks half crazed, whoever he is. Yeah, I'll say. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what the connection here is. Let's see. Okay, so it's raining. Um. Maybe let's try doing an internet search for Mr. Gould. Is Nishanti in yet? Nishanti isn't home. Too bad. Alright, let's do a search for Mr. Gould. Computer. Search. Joe Gould. Okay, Joe Gould, known as Professor Siegel, this West Village Bohemian was a, f a familiar figure during the 1960s. A regular at the Mineta Tavern, Joe Gould was often homeless and often broke. He claimed he was writing a book entitled The Oral History of the World, and spent most of his time soliciting money, the Joe Gould Fund, in order to keep working on it. In reality, this book never existed, but his energy and enthusiasm was said to inspire other writers, such as Joseph Mitchell. <gasps> oh my god! Connection! Connection! Whatever happened to Joseph Mitchell? Oh, he died. Well, that's sad. Joseph Mitchell, July 27th, 1908 to May 24th, 1996. Joseph Mitchell was on the staff of the New Yorker magazine for nearly 60 years, from 1938 until his death in 1996. He was uh, known for his plain-spoken essays of eccentrics and unstable people on the fringes of society. Joseph Mitchell is also known for a legendary case of writer's block. After completing his last biography in 1964, he continued to go to his New Yorker office every day until his death, but never completed another article for the magazine. Why was he still employed then? I wonder if there's anything about the aunt. Ooh, there is. Archive, September 23rd, 1981. Police were brought to the door of an East 23rd apartment a street apartment last night due to reports of loud screaming and crashing. What was thought to be a domestic dispute was a single woman identified as Lauren Blackwell who had apparently undergone a psychotic episode. Hiding in the closet was a five-year-old girl identified as her niece. Blackwell was apprehended and admitted to Bell Bellevue uh, while the niece is currently in foster care. Oh no, what happened? Can we look up Joey? Oh. Don't know what else I expected to find. <laughs> Something helpful? I don't know. Okay, uh, hold on. I mean, Joe Gould, what was the name of his book again? The Oral History of the World or whatever? Maybe, let's see, Professor Seagull. No. The Oral History of the World? Oops, of the Wur. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, that did. Still got the Joe Gold Fund. So it says come back later. So what should we do in the meantime? Come on, let's get going. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. What? <laughs> I have never heard that saying. Are you just making things up, Joey? Um, okay, let's try asking her if she knows anything about the Joe Gould Fund. 
come in. Um, oh, okay. hello. Again. Hi. Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Oh, the cat came Make in. yourself at home. You always do. Can I bug the cat? Hey, kitty. Ouch! She scratched me! Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's a mean one. Hmm. Is there anything I can what do with the cat? What does that ID tag of yours say? <gasps> Ooh. Ow! Damn it! All right, Joey. It's all you, man. Hey, little fella. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Rosa, quick, while he's distracting the cat. The cat! All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. Yes! Excellent! New location, Frank Lyons. Ilsa was Frank's cat, so the address on the ID tag should hopefully be his. Thanks, Joey. You can stop now. Hooray. All right. Do you know anything about the Frank Old Fun? Or Joke Old, whatever. People. Stuff. Ask about Ilsa. Cute cat. Thanks. But she's not mine. She was Frank's. And just between you and me, she's not very friendly. Okay. Anything else? Cute cat. Thanks. Just okay, never mind. Open notebook. Do you know anything about the Joe Gould Fund? Have you ever heard of Joe Gould or the Joe Gould Fund? Sorry. No. You are not helpful. Bye-bye. Thanks for the chat, Monique. Sure. Alright, so let's go to his apartment. Alright, Frank Lyons. Uh, which apartment was it again? Ooh, there's more doors. Can I walk down the hall? I guess not. There's nothing down the hall. Door? That's not Frank's door. One of Frank's neighbors, I assume. <laughs> okay, um... Is there, One of Frank's the neighbors, thing? I yeah. assume. Okay. That's Frank Lyon's door. Or at least it used to be. Can we go inside? It's gonna be locked, yeah? Locked. Can I use the paper clip again? Do your work, Clippy. Key? Who needs a key? It's not gonna work, is it? How's it going there? Oh, just fine. Almost got it. Uh-huh. Any second now. Damn yeah. it! What happened? The paper clip broke. Darn it. It broke? It's jammed in the lock. We couldn't get a key in there now, even if we had one. The master criminal at work. <laughs> well, now it's up to you. Go through there. Once again, it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Yes. Be my guest. <laughs> oh, Rosa. Man. Uh, tissues? Maybe Frank had a cold before he died? At least I hope so. I don't want to think about what those tissues were for. Don't know what I could do with it. Maybe he was just sad. <laughs> Frank's television. Cold and silent. Uh-huh. I couldn't even if I... Okay. Uh, photos? I don't recognize anybody in those photographs. Hmm. Poster? Looks like a poster for a B-grade Arabian Nights flick. Frank Lyons has got top billing. Hmm. Okay. This it's one? a movie poster. Looks like hard-boiled detective schlock. Frank Lyons starred in it. Hmm. Anything else? Yarn? It's for the cat, I assume. Oh, sweet! A ball of yarn! For the cat, I guess. That's exactly what I said. Poster. It looks like a still from a moving picture. I think I recognize Frank in the background. Okay. Box? There's nothing in there but junk. Uh, magazines? A bunch of magazines related to the film biz. Celebrity gossip, most likely. It's nice to see that some things never change. Uh, film reels? Looks like Frank was a collector of old film reels. I wonder what he played them on. That's a good question. Tape. 
I think this is called a VHS tape. It plays movies. It's supposed to be the latest thing. <laughs> I remember those bowls. Looks like a food and water bowl for the cat. Oh, there's still some food left in there. Ew. It's got a really smell in there then. Papers? Can I look at the papers? Looks like a film script. Yes! Please let me look at this. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Act three, scene two. Uh, the park at night. Zack says, I knew you'd come. Yvonne goes, how did you know I'd come? Zack responds, I know you, Yvonne, perhaps too well. Yvonne says, listen, I have to tell you something. Zack says, come on, the boat's going to leave any minute. Yvonne says, I'm not going. <laughs> I'm very good at reading scripts, by the way. Zack says, not going? What do you mean you're not going? Yvonne said, I, or Yvonne says, I said I'm not going. Zack says, you're staying? Yvonne says, yes, I'm staying here with Tom. Okay. Close. So now I guess I have to remember that sequence. It's a poster for a romantic comedy. Looks like our boy Frank had a supporting role. Okay, hold on. Let me look at this again. Looks like a film script. Okay. So we do, how did you know I'd come? Listen, I have to tell you something. I'm not going. I said I'm not going. Yes, I'm staying here with Tom. All right. Should we head over now? Is there anything else I can look at? Probably not. Alright, well I think I'm actually going to go ahead and stop here and we'll leave it in a little bit of a cliffhanger to see what happens when I actually recite the script at him. So, um, next time we will head over and recite the script and hopefully get something out of this guy other than nonsense. So... <laughs> Until then, I hope you enjoyed this set and hope you join me next time for more of Blackwell Convergence. Until then, goodbye everyone. <laughs>